inflation, unemployment, Pierre Trudeau is guilty. Quebecers are told their French-speaking prime minister is, by implication at least, a criminal. The Trudeau folie, c'est ainsi. Everyone expected the winter campaign to be fought in the airwaves, and a real fight it's turned out to be. Here's some edited clips. Bungling, Joe Clark promised to move the Israeli embassy. He didn't. A confused Joe Clark promised to lower interest rates. He raised them. An embarrassing Joe Clark. Let's face it. If you vote liberal, you're getting Trudeau and nothing else. They just break so many promises that uh, you really can't take them seriously anymore. Dr. John Bagley is one man who's been surprised at what he calls the viciousness of the ads. The parties have been using the television time simply as a vehicle to slam the other party, slam the opposition. As the Liberals scramble to reorganize their campaign, they are letting their commercials do the talking for them. How much would it cost Canadian taxpayers for conservative election promises? 20 billion answer. Don't answer. You also hope that Canadians aren't impressed by that kind of negative advertising. There's one line I'd like to change. Which line is that? Well, this one here. It's just getting in the way. Just how much are we giving away in the Mulroney free trade deal? So I think negative ads uh, can be provocative, but I think that's the beginning of a discussion. The Conservatives have launched a new television ad campaign that takes a swing at the man himself. Is this a prime minister? The strategy is to try to persuade Canadians that Jean Chrétien is unfit to be prime minister. Jean Chrétien has really lost touch with reality. I see him as very short-sighted. Think twice. This is nuclear fuel in, in, in the advertising world that uh, can work and it can be incredibly effective, but it also can be extremely dangerous. This is CBC.